Oh man, I'm so glad it's finally snowing after all these years. Oh, I can't wait to escape all my problems. And oh, what is this? Bro, you've got to be kidding me. This is the quadratic formula. The a, b, and c values correspond with the coefficients with a quadratic equation in its standard form. So then what does the quadratic formula mean? Well, let's say we have a quadratic function with two x-intercepts. The quadratic formula would give us the x-coordinate for these coordinate points. The quadratic formula also tells us how many x-intercepts there are based on the discriminant. The discriminant of a quadratic formula is the value inside the square root, which is b squared minus 4ac. If the discriminant is less than zero, then there are no x-intercepts since you can't square root negative numbers. If the discriminant equals zero, then there is only one x-intercept since there is only one possible value. If the discriminant is more than zero, then there are two x-intercepts since there are two possible values. For example, let's say we have a function of x squared plus 3x plus 2. The a value for this function is 1, b value is 3, and c value is 2. We can then plug in these values and calculate them to get this new expression. Since the discriminant is greater than zero, we can safely infer that there are two x-intercepts. After more calculations, we have found the x-coordinate values of the x-intercepts. There are obviously much more easier ways to find the x-values for the specific function, but as a demo of the quadratic formula, bear with it. This x-intercept can help graph the function, determine the vertex, and much more. But that's basically everything you need to know about the quadratic formula in under 2 minutes.